One of the important things to know how to do with watercolour is to apply a graded wash. So you might prefer to damp the paper before you begin because it makes things a bit easier. So just clean water dropped into an area of paper. Just give it a moment to even out and to settle. And then starting at one edge with some fairly strong colour just work backwards and forwards and let the capillary action happen in the paper and slowly the paint, the colour becomes more dilute as you move down the space and then tilt the paper to allow the capillary action to carry the pigment. Again, patience is the key. Okay, another way to make clouds will be to start with dry paper and to leave a space where the cloud formations will be. You have to work quite quickly to avoid getting dry, hard edges where you don't want them. So we now have to wait for this to dry before we can go on to the next section. So we've now waited for our first wash to dry we can now proceed to work on this to make a skyscape. So mix together some complementary colours to produce a grey. Keep it delicate, plenty of water, and think about where the light is coming and dropping onto your cloud. My light's coming from this direction. So therefore, the shadows are going to be on the opposite side. So drop some colour in to indicate the mass of the cloud. They're three-dimensional. Remember that clouds are three-dimensional. So therefore, they're affected by light and shade. Add a bit of water to the colour to soften it. Now we need to indicate where the light is falling on the cloud. Some yellow will indicate light. On the opposite side to the shadow, Gently drop in some yellow to indicate where the light is hitting the cloud. And again, with a clean brush, take out and soften that colour that you've just dropped in. At all times, remember that you're working with the capillary action of the paper, how the liquid responds within the fibres of the paper. You have to be patient for these processes to happen. We'll do that again on this other wash. Start with some blue, some orange, and this time we can put in some quite dark rain clouds. So we've put the colour onto our paper. Now we're going to add some water to make the, the colour move. You'll often see the underneath edge of a cloud as looking quite well defined and the top edge as being quite soft. So you can use a washed out brush to begin to take out some of that wash that you've put in. So apply some water, wash your brush, dry it slightly and take out some of that excess moisture that you've put onto the paper. Be aware of edges, be aware of how soft or how defined an edge is going to be. And watch how when you put e extra water onto the paper, the capillary action will push the pigment away from where you put the water onto the paper. Let the paper do a lot of the work for you. Be patient, watch how it behaves.